Hello everyone, in this guide I'm going to show you how to easily take down the boss Juzo the Drunkard in Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. So this boss has a lot of adds that you can deal with. Now I prefer to run back into this room here and take them down one by one. This is the trick, so I ran through here at first to take down the shield guy. Now I didn't attack Juzo himself as I found that it was a little bit difficult to get that first attack in on him, but i seen online that it is possible to get it in and take out one of his health orbs there, so I would recommend doing that if you have the skill necessary but I just went for the shield guy because I want to take down all of the ads before fighting him I've attempted him a few times now and I was finding him to be quite difficult because his attacks will take out at least half of your health so you can only survive two attacks from him and uh, I found it to be quite brutal so the shield guys being the most difficult there is a summon you can bring to help out with this but I find it's best to do as much damage as possible before getting their help I got really hit hard by that shield attack so I said I'm going or I guess I was trying to uh, heal up first and then I was gonna go grab him but be very mobile in this fight it pays to stay moving as his attacks are pretty well telegraphed and they come slow so you can usually get in for a couple hits or you can also use the flame orb on him as well i found that that worked quite well i i find that it works great if you use the oil item first you throw the oil at him and then use the fire as that's going to be able to deal deal a little bit more damage to him and you can easily get that stagger built up that way so as you can see his stagger bar is not very well filled here we're <laughs> focusing more so on just the ads at the first start of it and uh, I thought it was best to go recruit this guy for help at this point because I just was having a struggle with him and the shield guy at once. So I enlisted his help to get the, at least build up the stagger bar a little bit better because his posture was staying relatively high throughout this fight. So I wanted to take him down. And uh, it helps having that extra, uh, extra attacker there because it'll hold his aggro and then you can just go up behind him and get those easy hits in, which is super nice. And as I said, most of his attacks are really well telegraphed. I don't know if you noticed there, but I was able to throw an oil uh, barrel at him and then also light him on fire, which has helped take his stagger bar through the roof. Like, that was the game changer there. So I would recommend using those oil uh, canisters, throwing them at it, and then also using your Flameberg attack there to really deal a lot of damage to his uh, posture. So using the summit at around the midway mark. The summon usually won't survive, but on this attempt he did because I was bouncing between damaging the boss and letting him go after him as much as possible. And as you can see there, you can parry some of the attacks away from the, at the helper so it keeps him alive longer, but this fight is really about just trying to balance between the two of you. If you want to keep this fight pretty quick, I would recommend using the summon near the end and then also just focusing on building up that stagger to him. Now we took down Jizu with keeping that, uh, that shielded enemy there. I was getting worried here because we had his stagger bar very high and ours was built up really high as well. But we were able to get in and get the victory and the reason for it is because we were staying mobile. So. This became basically a one-on-one -on -one against me and him, and it doesn't, it isn't too difficult if you're able to run around the arena and keep him on his toes like this. It'll pay off, and then you'll be able to build up that stagger bar and get that final killing blow, which I could have got there, but I didn't, and then here it is, the finale. So that's how you take down Jozo, the drunkard in Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice. Hope you found this video useful.